you guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. So, in this Python tutorial we're going to be covering the second part of the um, resizable window uh, tutorial that I did in the last video. Um, and obviously the linked above video being the original one I did which was a full size, re uh, full screen uh, window. This one is primarily for um, resizing a window. Um, and obviously the shape within it, last one being image, this one being uh, drawing shapes and having them resize in regards to that uh, screen. Therefore you can make games, make menus, you know, that resize with uh, your custom buttons and all sorts instead of just having an image on the screen. Um, but yeah, it gets a little bit more complex in this one and so um, it's, it's, yeah, maybe, maybe too complex for some people and so the other one is a little bit simpler, but doesn't cover your own custom stuff. Anyway, let's get into it. So, import, buy game, and SYS. We then want to go from pygame.locals, uh, import all. We then want to go ahead and initiate pygame, so pygame.init. And we want to go ahead and go surface equals pi game dot um, display dot set underscore mode, and we want to go ahead and go 350 or let's go 500, 500 by 500. We'll just keep it the same as the last video, and we want to go HK surface. Um, so not that, uh, not that one either, not that one, that one. Uh, and we want to go ahead and go double buff and resizable. We then want to go ahead and go pygame dot display dot set underscore caption. And we're going to make it example resize. This is pretty much just initiating your window. Like I said in the last video, you're just setting a display size and then the values that that display size is going to um, inherit um, and then you're setting your caption for the header bar um, which is going to be example resize um, cool so that's pretty much that we will then want to go ahead and do a loop so while true and we want to go surface dot fill 255 255 255 and that is white so the background of this uh, window will be white if I um, do a pygame dot update uh, dot display dot update sorry display dot update oop update oop date Jesus um, cool so if I do that and run it it's going to be a white screen that I can't do anything with because it's just continuously looping over hundreds of times a second and I also can't close it. <laughs> um, cool, so that's that. Uh, then I want to go ahead and I want to go pygame.draw.rect um, and I want to draw it onto the surface, Ooh, surface, uh, and we want it to be say red so 200 by 0 by 0 so 200 red 0 green 0 blue um, cool we then want to go ahead and do our sizing so our su sizing here is going to be surface dot get underscore width and we're going to divide that by 3 at this stage we're going to go ahead and we're then going to go ahead and do surface dot get underscore height um, and so this is going to be divided by three as well, but obviously we just want a square in the middle of the screen that we can show resizing because I can't do your coding for you. Um, <laughs> and so your calculations will definitely be different. Um, and obviously you can change them to whatever you need them to be. But, uh, in this case, we want to go surface dot, um, get underscore width again. So this is the position divide it by three so it's always oh uh, need to do that outside so we're going to divide it by three and then we also want to do the position of the height so surface dot get underscore height um, I spelled surface wrong 
uh, and we're also going to divide that by three. Cool. And now I've got a capital in there. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I can't type today for some reason. All right. Cool. So that's that's going to draw a uh, a thing in the middle of the screen, as you can kind of see as it's off to the half side there. But I can't close out of it because it is uh, crashing. Um, and I also can't move it because of it being uh, so looping so many times a second. Uh, so a for event dot uh, so for event in Pi game dot event um, dot get um, and then if event dot type is equal to pi game dot oh my god why can't I type today pi game dot quit we're then gonna go pi game dot quit and we're also gonna go sys dot exit cool now what I want to do after that is I want to update the size so we want to go if event dot type is equal to pi game dot video resize then we want to go ahead and change the surface so surface is now equal to pi game dot display dot set mode and then we want to go ahead and go event dot w so event width and event dot h event height um comma and we want to go pi game oh sorry no we don't we want this so we want to grab that there chuck it in there and that's gonna uh give it these values down here when it re re does the win when it rewrites the window and now because of this every time we edit the window size it's going to loop back around and redraw the stuff which is going to obviously have a different calculation here and redraw our square so you can see if we run oh we had a crash display surface quit in line 10 what did i do wrong line 10 that's this one here surface dot fill did I spell surface wrong? No. What is the error there? I will come back to you when I work out what I have done wrong. Alright, so what I worked out what I had done is I have put a function here. <laughs> that shouldn't be a function. So now that I run that, I should be able to run it like this. And we get a window here. And we can go ahead and resize and you'll see our square within it resizes depending on our window size. So let's recap over what we've uh, shown in this. So we import our uh, libraries, we initiate our Pi game, we set up our screen with its uh, inheriting values, we give it a caption, as you can see it'll show that caption in the top corner uh, we then fill the background with white because it makes the red uh, square easy to see um, we have our initial engine loop uh, game loop um, or main loop um, we then draw our surface draw our uh, rectangle to the surface with the color red and our calculations to put it in the center um, and give it the correct size and then we update that to the screen every time it loops we then check for a event uh, and this event is either a quit or a video resize and on a quit we obviously quit out of the program and on a resize we obviously reset the um the window size uh, values so these two values here to whatever the new value is which changes these equations in here uh, and that obviously then gives it a different size depending on the screen size or the, the window size um, but yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video 
uh, have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Any video suggestions, leave them below. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. See ya. Alright, hello there guys. Um, you've obviously made it to the end of the video. Uh, so you've obviously enjoyed it or had to watch the whole thing at least. So if you could consider subscribing, that would be a great help to my channel. Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Um, like the video to show your support uh, to me so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making. Um, and yeah, hope to see you in the